friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. At Shakespeare in Exile, you'll be given a behind-the-scenes glimpse into the relevance of the dramas of William Shakespeare for those fighting today for economic justice and scientific progress for all people, be they in war-torn and starved Afghanistan, earthquake-ravaged Haiti, the imperial oppressed nations of Africa, or the COVID-ravaged precincts of New York City. You'll hear lectures on Shakespeare's plays given by Dr. Fred Wills, an international jurist and leading diplomat of the non-aligned movement, which over three decades was the foremost voice of the world's developing nations. Dr. Wills burst onto the world stage in the 1970s when he dared to join forces with the controversial American physical economist and statesman Lyndon H. LaRouche. The LaRouche movement spearheaded the initiative for the establishment of a more just, equitable global economic institution known as the International Development Bank, which would replace the old colonialist BIS IMF World Bank system. In his capacity as Guyana's foreign minister, Dr. Wills took this fight into the United Nations General Assembly and elsewhere. Although he was born in the 16th century, did you know that Shakespeare, the dramatist, poet, and historian, leaves unto this day a huge influence on the English language? Ask yourself, what intentions underlie these expressions bequeathed to us by Shakespeare? All the world's a stage. They have their entrances and exits. To thine own self be true. The lady doth protest too much. Now is the winter of our discontent.